boy. Papaw came to town. I'm back in the saddle again. The first place they want to take the kids is a 90% off toy sale. Dad is going to each $10 that they can buy right now that they have to work off in the future. So whenever I'm in Cosmo I'm talking to all my expat friends and they're all from out west. They don't know what dirt cheap is. So let me just show you why there is this little obsession that we have with dirt cheap. They start with like 30% off until they get all the way down to 90% off. When it gets down to 90% off, we buy things. Now this, for example, is $110 and it's $12. Brighton set this up and Boeing is screwing her in. Brighton is following this instruction thing here. We bought this toy for 20 bucks. We'll sell it for 50 whenever we're done building it. And Brooklyn, that thing that was $12, we can probably sell it for 20 or 30. You buy toys for garage sale prices and you can sell them for garage sale prices. Sometimes you can actually sell them for more than you paid for them if you get a really good deal like we did. Sometimes it's worth it and then the kids can play with it for a couple months because we're only going to be here a couple months and they'll get some. It's a win-win situation. And they don't get tired of playing with their toys because they only had them for three months. For your customers to sit down. Nice. Or if you just wanted to give it to them through the window right here. Oh, yeah. And it opens and closes. Oh wow, it even has one of those sprinkles. Um, I use this birthday cake. The dinosaur is trying to eat the ice cream. The dinosaur is trying to eat the girl's ice cream? Yeah. She is running fast. That dinosaur is really. I'm a dinosaur! I fell down. I see that. And Strong bought a treadmill. 95% off. So we're gonna fix the rollers. We got a band that was loose. I got this for $28 with 95% off of $588. So it wouldn't come on. I did get a red light. We were missing our key. So I got a magnet out of my tool chest. And voila! If you ever lose your key on your treadmill, you can use a magnet. It will turn it on. It's a safety mechanism. It's supposed to, if you fall off, like Wendy would do if she was on it. I have fallen off one of those things. I would have broken my foot in It's huddled up by this propane heater. I'm dying. As if it were two degrees outside. Bry, what are you doing? Building a house. Oh, look. We got a display. Oh, yeah. We got the belt straightened up. Don't burn or drop. We had to get back up. We have two screw drivers going because a lot of screws to be put in. Screws are like hard to put in, which is a good thing because some screws don't screw in at all because the screws are too small because it, like it's dull, like the whole stripped. Thing. This is hard work, which is why the kids are doing it, and they're gonna make it for Squishy. It's gonna be an awesome surprise. I want to get there, but anyone is not letting me. Baby, we told you that you could use that screwdriver right there and screw in the big screw holes, remember? Yeah. And you said, I'm gonna go play back with Brookie. <laughs> you know you're at the Johnson house when you find a random doorknob. I gave you a doorknob. Why? Did y'all put a doorknob to hold up a fort? Okay. You probably shouldn't put a, a thing of tools to hold up a fort. And now Brighton's gonna die. Cool trick, Squishy. Woo! Squishy! There's a lot of fort building in here going on right now. Okay, I'm taking a picture of you walking right there. Changing laundry, sweeping the kitchen, cleaning the 
upstairs, making beds, little dinky chores, and you would think that I was asking them to like perform heart surgery on somebody. Plus, once we sell one of these houses, I told them that we would split the profit with them. We paid 20 for it, so if we can sell it for like, say 50, so we'd split it six ways, and so they can use some of that money to pay off their toys. This beautiful girl has adopted our family and she loves attention. She also randomly scratches her face up and will attack you if you make eye contact. So she doesn't know she's feral. She thinks she's very tame, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit scared of her. <laughs> Loves you one second and then wants to claw your eyes out the next. Don't wanna attack me. She's mostly an outside cat that knocks on the door when she wants to come inside. And I mean that literally, she knocks on the door and grabs the door handle. She's for adoption. I would like to have her. She decided that it's cold and she wanted to be an inside cat. Yeah, don't look at me in the eyes.